Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Cosmetia, today's beverages. A very refreshing iced peach tea, very nice indeed. So welcome back to the game. In the previous video, we were in the career mode and trying to answer the question, is it possible to start with a railgun mounted ship? And I think the answer, and indeed consensus, is that yes, you can start with the railgun system on a starting ship within budget. However, you probably shouldn't. Uh... <laughs> For various reasons, it's just not the ideal solution. Firstly, you can't utilize the railgun strengths, which is highly accurate shots, uh, great muzzle velocity, long range, etc., because you don't have a sensor suite. And secondly, you make so many sacrifices in order to afford that system that you have limited maneuverability, limited armor, no defenses to speak of, really, limited storage, the in flight entertainment is poor. There's just so many things you sacrifice in order to get that. But the the whole objective was to try it and well the fun was in finding out we did it was never intended to be hey this is the best starting railgun ship which I think was lost on a couple of people but it was yeah mainly trying it and well fun was had let's do something similar and load in the side launch this is a cut down version of a cut down version of a cutdown version where it's all based on missile launches. So this is the vessel in question. We have a rear-mounted small reactor core and cockpit and indeed an enemy target getting... no, close. Uh, we have two storage bays, two side-mounted two-way small thrusters. We have one port and one starboard missile slash mine launcher. We have a forward-facing crew quarters as well as two forward-facing thrusters and uh, a crew bunk and no armor on the right-hand side because, well, that's where the budget cuts started. We have limited armor, limited, limited maneuverability, limited ammo, so the shots are poor as well. But the fun was always in finding out. I've not fired this, but I have used weapons in the past in the game and I find them these missiles to be quite useful and fun however I have some doubts with this one firstly this is gonna blow everything to hell and then we're gonna run out of uh, ammunition also almost all the time you will not be able to get ammunition from the store which means we're gonna have to make it which means Yep, we're going to have to start getting some manufacturing up and running, which is at least 7,500, and it's a 3x3, three three, and uh, if we even get there, it'll be a miracle. The advantages that we have is that these will fire target on the ship, and even if they miss, which I think they will be in side mounted, they'll come back around and hit the target, but then more slightly blow it up. Anyway, this is, as I said, a sort of fun in finding out type of affair. Let me go ahead and just accept all of these missions and EM Ooh, <laughs> deliver EMP parts and deliver nuclear missile parts. Nope, I will be delivering both of those, hopefully, but we'll be delivering it to an enemy target rather than a friendly trade. So we'll have a quick look around. We've got uh, the clear the asteroid field here, or we've got a target over there for the fugitive bounty, which is what we're going to attempt. Um, plus 10 generic units of appreciation for anyone that left some useful feedback and comments on the previous video. There's a lot of feedback on that one and the video sort of blew up a little bit. Um, and yeah, people were very helpful in suggesting different ways to play in terms of the way to maneuver the ship, uh, different builds, make, make sure you use corridors, the, you know, just different tips and suggestions as well as things like using the the mirroring mode as well as the blueprint mode in order to get the most out of out of the build so yeah that's much like I say much uh, appreciated the whole point was in trying to find out where that railgun works and well it does and I definitely want to revisit it because I like the idea of having this railgun system and just making it bigger like you, <laughs> you don't mess around with anything else but anyway let's see what the missile systems are like we're going to speed up to max speed while we head to the target area almost certainly both of these deliveries are going to expire before we get anywhere near uh, being able to hand those in so the bounty will be probably down here and there indeed it is it is coming towards us at a bit of a breakneck pace actually so let's see what we can do i'm going to pause it immediately as well as soon as we get in contact there it is and i'm going to target their cockpit so they're armed with a disruptor and a point defense system obviously the whole point in the starting ships and these base ships being armed with things like disruptors or point defenses that and just small weapons in general is that you don't need to carry loads of ammo and such which is why I think the starting ships do it so we are very much breaking the mold here deliberately to uh, try and find out now here we are there's the missile launches we have three in the I wouldn't say the tube but three on the rail systems here and they've launched and indeed gone red so they are now armed and that is heading out 
with the size of this ship and indeed the speed, because it's coming towards us, I reckon that they'll be able to shoot down our missiles. In fact, they did manage to shoot down one of the missiles, but the other one missed and is now turning about to come towards this target. So let's see what this is like. We can see that they have now pretty much stopped and the missiles are still indeed missing. So this is like, this is the worst thing we could have almost possibly come up against because we can't defeat it. Like it's, it's able to shoot down all of our missiles and it's maneuverable enough in order to... No, maybe not. Oh, good grief. <laughs> I was going to say it's maneuverable enough to get around. Let me repair all. Um, what happened there is it, it managed to dodge the missiles and dodge the missiles and dodge the missiles right until the point where it didn't dodge the missiles. And that was just another downside that it's, uh, is what was shown there is that we have destroyed the target. Well, we destroyed the cockpit so it was drifting and the other three missiles just kept pounding into it and we're now left with pretty much no wreckage to speak of and salvage. So that's a problem. Mm, in fact, are we able to pick up absolutely everything and leave? We are... Uh, there's still some... There's still some stuff around here. Tell you what, let's see if we can... Let's see if we can move some stuff down. Delete that. Are we able to get some more storage? No. We cannot. Can we get one of them? Yes. Make it so. Right, we've got some more storage. And... I guess we've used all of the wreckage. Let's... Uh, what do we do? The problem is we've only got two shots left. That's the big downside. We've got two shots left. <laughs> Good grief. And there's a target. It's nowhere near in visual range, so it's just going to head off and do its own thing. That one will also do the same. Oh, I think it was heading back over and then it gave up. Okay. So, we can't do any fighting because we're out of ammo. I guess... We're going to be mining for a little bit. Well, let's see what we can do. So, we'll have a chat. Contact the station. Hand that in. In terms of stuff... Oh! They do have some HE missile parts. And I think enough for me to initiate the trade. Is there anything we want to sell? We've got an enriched uranium we could sell. Let's trade over that. And I'm buying enough... To get that in to increase our storage okay also it would be nice to get a fire extinguisher there we go <laughs> eight out of eight crew recommended 22 <laughs> can we can we then potentially remove that put the quarters back in and then the uh, the armor panel Make it so we can. And get more crew. There we are. Alright, so we're back up to what I think it was originally originally factory spec. <laughs> so we're, we're back to factory spec before the budget cuts. It's a bit like uh, the Red Dwarf, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit like Red Dwarf. Okay. So. We just need to finish off the trading. And then we need some more money. I'm going to visit this location. So I want to see what it is. I'm hoping it's a, an asteroid field, but I have a feeling it's just a beacon. And there's a target coming right towards us. Oh, we could be cheeky here. Oh, you know, oh, yeah, okay. What I'm going to do is get closer. Oh, is it going to go past? Oh, it's too fast. I was going to... Ah, asteroid field. Brilliant. What I was going to do is keep it in the shipping lane, it lock onto us, and then we'll charge back to the station, let the station deal with it, and still get paid. <laughs> right, mining. Let's do it. So, mining there. We're just mining now, just for money. Uh, I think it was ferrous and sulfur we need for the... Was it ferrous and sulfur, I think it was? Mission failed for missile delivery. What a surprise. Um, let's have a fly around and we'll see if we can see any... Again, I'm just mining... Good grief, that's a big asteroid. I'm mining... This Hyperium here. The jump fuel. Can't get to that. No. 
I guess we'll work around this way. There's got ferrous material, got sulfur, copper. I'm looking for gold. If we see AU, we're going to head straight towards it. Nothing to mine there. I guess we'll just, should we just fill our pockets here? Mine everything we can. And we can trade stuff over. Sometimes this is what we need to do. And we've got one, two, three, four, five missiles ready to launch. So we can indeed launch missiles if required. Yeah, I'm mining that, but it's not getting brought back. Let's bring it over here. And there's a target coming right towards us. Or genuinely is coming right towards us. We're going to have to get about. I don't think we're going to get out before it locks on. It's detected us and it's locked on. And it's the same thing as we've seen before. Right. Beeline. Straight for. Oh, we hit them. I going to say straight back home. There's our missiles. We've hit them. Oh! That was a bit of a surprise. We've destroyed them. Nice. Right, well, I think we'll have that ship. And I think what we'll do is... Can we blueprint mode this? Uh, and put in more storage. Make it so... No. Need more stuff. Or we'll pick it pick up said stuff. Um now we'll make it so. Bring a lot of this back. I'm also tempted for more thrust as while we're here. Mm, yeah, more thrusters would be nice. The problem is Undo that. Symmetry off. You know what? Just discard modifications. Go back on. That can come down. That can come down. This can go off to one side. I'll put this... There. And the airlock there. And we can still run corridor and have that. There we go. That's a bit better. That side launch is looking good. So let's... Might as well pick up some of this sulfur. Mm. Right, head back. I don't want to sit around in this asteroid field while we... Ooh, this is a lot faster. Well, we have no ammo. We'll have a chat with this. See what the deal is. Hmm. Processor delivery. I don't know if picking those up and failing them reduces the reputation. I'm not sure. So, we can buy some more missile parts. Mainly, however, we're going to sell sulfur and the iron and the carbon just to clear up our... Oh, and we'll sell all that, all that Hyperium as well. So how many missiles do we have? Not much. Try steel delivery. Get try steel and deliver it again. Don't think we're going to be doing that. All right. What we're going to do is head to another station. There's a bounty. No, let's not... Let's not try and deal with those guys. As we know... Oh, that's not something I want to stick around with. Yeah, that's... <laughs> there's something... not very good there. Let's stay away from that. I think I want to up armor this thing as well. But I don't know if we can. So we found another station. 
I don't know what it's got. The main thing is, it doesn't have any... It really doesn't have any. This is the downside of this thing. Reach another station we could pick up. Which is... That's called the Seam Station. Is it asking to reach this other one? Ah, oh, no. It's it's reach itself. Oh, interesting. This guy's stationary. Pirate. Im ah, he must be engaging with someone. Right, we're going to take advantage of this. Bear in mind we have two shots, and then we're going to run to the station. Yeah, let's fire at that. And immediately turn around. It's got missiles as well. That have missed. <sighs> They're going to hit. They've hit the side. They've actually hit the missile system. They've hit this twice. Is it following? I don't think it is. That's where it was. That's where it is, in fact. Right. Looks like they've been defeated. Yeah, I think what happened is it was fighting this other ship and we came in there just to yeah, just to get what we can. That seemed to work out. I'll take that apart. And I think there was some other stuff over here. There we go. Well, that was interesting. I <laughs> didn't expect that. But we have to get any advantage we can on this one, surely. So. We've contacted the station. Uh, we've got uranium delivery. Oh, uranium delivery? Ah, it's only six minutes. And H HE missile parts. I don't think this station is picking up what we're putting down. Oh, they have nuclear missiles. Hmm. We also have armor. Rich uranium. Okay, let's get back to building. And we're going to change the armor profile a bit. And just put in some nice chunks of armor. It's going to make it slower, but at least it's more armored. We could armor up this bit as well. My intention is to make sure the back's armored as well. <laughs> All right, so we've traded over. We have, hopefully now. Wow, is that it? We have two missiles. Oh, that's a shame. So I changed the, <laughs> I changed the missile type to the nuke after buying some, and I think it's one little bit short, which is a bit of a nightmare. Um, we do have uranium delivery, which is going to end shortly. We've got clear an asteroid field, but we've still got stuff over on the other side. So I'm going to head back to the other station in hope that they do have at least some more missile parts. We have three missiles, HE missiles loaded in the other side, and there's also a target that I want to probably stick away from. Uh, and this is an asteroid field that we'll maybe be able to have a little dodge around, but no, no, it's actually a target area. Let's run away from that, and it's chasing me. It is indeed chasing me. I'm hoping that it is going to run away. In fact, it did, but I think we've probably launched our missiles. Yes, the missiles have indeed launched, and it's level three. It's running away. Right, wow. So this is the main downside with these missile boats, is that getting the ammo for them is a bit of a nightmare, which I assumed was going to be the case from the very get-go. Uh, let's repair all. We took a little bit of damage there, but hopefully not something we can deal with. I'm just hoping that we've got some more more missions here that we can get in order to... Uh, yeah, coil delivery. Deliver 40 coils. Might as well do that. We've got coils. And they also have HE missile parts. Four. Is that it? And... No, they've got some more. Oh! See that? This is live, immersive play as we speak because I think one of these ships, one of the ships around there, is probably tanking off and selling them to it. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. So I'm guessing this is the other station. 
There's destroy the Cabal of Sol base. Lots of asteroid fields. Yeah, there's, there's another trade going this way. And, oh, that guy is chasing down him. We're very close to this station. I'm just going to head straight towards that station because we will be launching. Once it's fully crewed anyway. These missiles. Oh, there it is. Ooh, it's a big ship. Missiles away. And that's enemy. Oh. We've made a poor assumption on this one. Right. That AMP better fire. <laughs> um, let's just target that. And... AMP missile away. This is going to hurt it. And there we go. It's probably, hopefully, a mobilized. It's not a mobilized, and we've taken considerable damage. But it's being engaged. No, it's not. It is. It is being engaged. It's taking considerable damage. I am tempted to spin the ship around. We've got no ammo, and we're losing everything. This guy is getting shot off three ships. And there it goes. Repair everything, please, and thank you. There we go. So, oh, we could... Ideally, we would want to... Would we want to board that? Maybe. I'm stripping it for parts for now. All right, we got back to the station and managed to do some decent trading. Handed in some coils, went ahead and changed things up a bit. So now we have a fully loaded nuclear missile option on the left and indeed the missiles on the right as well as some EMP. And also we've researched the ability to make HE missiles now. If we went over to here and to manufacturing, uh, there it is. We do have the ability to at least start to produce some HE missiles. In fact, do we want to put those in now? I mean, the answer is yeah, I do, but we can't have it on symmetry, that's for sure. Actually, what I will do is go to symmetry, and I'm going to move over the... Yeah, that's a, that's a horrible place for this, by the way. I know it's uh, far from ideal, but it is what it is. We're just trying this thing out here, and uh, we would be able to make that so. I don't like the position of it. We'd be able to, say, delete that, and then put it back in there. That is perfect. Make it so, and we still need a lot more crew. A hell of a lot more crew. But we should be able, now that we've got some sulfur there, uh, we should be able to just get some, some iron. And I believe we can start to... I believe we can start to... to make something. Let me just get, say... Uh, just 20 of that. And see if that actually works. And there it is. We have a missile production system underway. Right. <laughs> the last part of the video. We're going to head to this target area. And we're going to launch a nuke. Because I've never done it. <laughs> and I know some people might be saying, hang on. Does he realise how big the blast is? No! No, he doesn't. Um, the fun's in finding out. I actually like this design. This has been a troublesome start. Getting the resources to make the missiles. Getting ambushed. Doing everything we possibly can. Oh, is that, is that all point defense? It's all point defense. The nuke's not even going to get in. Well, it won't anyway because it's totally not crude. Um, <laughs> oh, there we go. There's the missiles. There's the nuke. Okay. Um. Can confirm. Nuke go boom. <laughs> wow. Okay. So that functioned. Apparently they didn't have the point defense. <laughs> it wasn't as effective as they thought. And we've got another nuke on board. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's just repair that and... I'm a bit tempted to 
Right, we'll just swap, switch that back to HE. Um, I wonder if there's a better way of doing it because you just end up dumping all this stuff outside. Anyway, we are going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Cosmetia. As always, the fun for this was always in finding out. Can we start with a missile loadout and be effective? Yes, I think you can. We did look out a bit. We did get ambushed a couple of times. We we clung on to basically friends helping us out in sort of you know the the universe helping us out when we were fighting. In terms of we were under attack, we had no missiles, but there was friends on the way. Yeah, but now we've got I think a bit of a contender. We've got some missiles either side. We have a manufact uh, manufactory there. We can factor in our own, uh, build our own missiles. We do need to extend the ship massively. We need more crew. We need more armor. Some point defense wouldn't go amiss. More thrusters. Basically, expand the ship. You know, play the game. But that's been fun. I've enjoyed playing around with the missiles. Launch different types. Either way, hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any tips, comments, suggestions for not just this build or the game in general, as I said, I'm still getting into the game and picking things up uh, so positive feedback is and constructive feedback especially is very much appreciated but yeah either way hope you have enjoyed this look at uh, the side launch which is no longer <laughs> so cut down as before either way hope you have enjoyed it thank you very much for watching take care and generic partings